back to Fox 9 Good Day. Finding your voice as a young artist can be challenging. And that theme is explored in a new play premiering this week at the Children's Theater Company called Drawing Lessons. So this morning, we're joined by two of the student actors, Olivia and Mars, who are alternating the lead role of the show. So please tell us a little bit more about the storyline. And first, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. We're yeah. so excited to be here. Thank you. This story follows Kate Lee, a 12-year-old Korean-American girl who was just entering sixth grade. She is pretty quiet and has quite a hard time talking to people, but she loves to draw. And she meets an art teacher, Paul, who only amplifies her passion and discovers, helps her discover what it means to be an artist. And when it comes to getting a character and playing a character like Kate, do you both find ways that you identify with that character? Does that help you tell the story? Uh, Personally, I was really shy and introverted growing up in middle school, especially, and so I really identify with Kate, and um, I used to doodle a lot as well. Okay, but I have to intervene here. You're starring in a, a show at the Children's Theater. Yeah. <laughs> you, shy and introverted doesn't seem to be words you would think of with that. Um, well, honestly, like, through theater, I've, like, explored myself and opened up a lot more, and... Oops. Yeah, I just sorry. My microphone is making love noises. theater. So it, like, when I'm on stage, it all just goes away, and I'm just in your element. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask you both about this. So the show is kind of centered around some graphic novels. What are some of your favorite? Do you guys read a lot of those? I'm actually taking a graphic novel class <laughs> at oh. my high school right now, wow. so I feel like it's very convenient. I'm learning so much. We're reading Batman: The Long Halloween right now. Um, <laughs> I've learned to appreciate graphic novels so much more. I used to think it was just an easier way to read. You know, you don't have to read the whole book, but there's so much detail and thought that goes into graphic novels. So sure. I found a, I found a really deep respect for people who create graphic novels. Yeah, for yeah. those who don't know, I feel like they're kind of a newer thing. Yeah, yeah, out not there. Schools. Yeah, it's kind of like a comic book, but a chapter book, and for my daughter who kind of reading took a little more time for her to appreciate, it was a really easier way for her to get into reading, so uh, appreciate the graphic novels. Now, the story takes place in Minneapolis in the 90s. Yes. Did that require <laughs> learning some things you maybe weren't familiar with? Oh. Definitely. Yeah. yeah <laughs> we have amazing sure. props in the show. We're, we have a Walkman that yeah. we use the whole show, which is super exciting. Did you know what that was before? I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From, um, I used to read like Smile and yeah. um, Sisters, those books growing up, and I remember Raina had the Walkman. Walkman, yes. yeah. <laughs> Super cool. So, so I want to ask you guys this. So the, the story is about friends and family shaping art. How has your loved ones impacted you guys as actors right now? Wow, my parents are so supportive. I don't think they ever thought that this would be, you know, the road that I would take. Um, but they've been with me, supporting me, cheering me on um, for so long. They encouraged me to keep auditioning and keep going and pushing through the hard times and they're always there you know to drive me to give me food you know everything mm -hmm. yeah. super amazing um, my parents are both really supportive yeah my dad just drove me here he's over there <laughs> um, and um, my mom has always been a theater person like she has done opera and a bunch of like touring shows and so her music and art has inspired me to continue on and act as well. Sure. Um, my grandma's a conductor, oh. and so she was also one of like the first female conductors in her time, um, because the people told her like, no, you can't go to school for it, and she did it anyway. So <laughs> you know, it's pretty we were cool. destined for bright lights. <laughs> yeah, seems like everyone in your family. For sure. Guess, yeah. Well, thank you all so much, and it's exciting to be a part of a world premiere, too, I'm sure. Yes, yeah. this is super exciting. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with everything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, if you want to check out the show, it premieres tomorrow and runs through November 10th mm -hmm. at the Children's Theater Company. And for tickets, you can head to childrenstheater.org. Kelly?